Hello everyone, this is a message from Holy Spirit for all of us, but let us pray first. Father God, thank you for this message and please help us to understand it. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 7, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Jesus Christ commands us to be compassionate to all living things, which are God's people, animals, plants, and insects. We must always ask the Holy Spirit who we should help, for not everyone loves God. For we can be deceived by helping people who ask us for help, that the devil sent so we become disobedient to Jesus Christ. We need to be spiritual aware of what we do and say daily. As we all know that animals don't sin like we do, so we must love and care for all of them. Did you know that eating animals is a tradition that increases our self-desire, lust, and cravings for food? Now, if we eat animals for food and we say we love Jesus Christ, we have broken God's commandment. It's a sin to kill a living creature to eat it for food. For Jesus Christ even said, So in everything, do to others what you would have them done to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. God doesn't allow us to eat food using the blood of animals. God will judge those who have killed and eaten the animal's body for food and clothing. And God will judge those people who continue to eat and buy in the grocery dead animals for food. Why? It's because they allow people who kill these innocent animals to satisfy their flesh by eating them and using their skin and fur for clothing. I asked Holy Spirit, what if it died and I choose to eat it? Will, will it still be a sin? Holy Spirit says, it will make your body unhealthy and you will be unfit to do God's will, which leads you to being disobedient to God. Now many will say, give me proof that what Holy Spirit says to you is true. Holy Spirit says, in the Bible, during Adam and Eve, the God of the world said to them that their food is only fruits, vegetables, and nuts. During Noah's time, after the flood happened, Noah was told he can eat animals now for meat as long as it died first. They couldn't kill and eat the animal for food. Moses was told also that he can eat certain types of animals for food, while others he cannot. This shows that over time, the basic rule of God to only eat fruits and vegetables and nuts for all people have been changed slowly to wickedness. Holy Spirit makes me say, the God of this world and not God. It's because as you can see, the Old Testament was mixed up with the God of Jesus Christ and God of the world, which is Satan. Also, we must not trust fully the Bible word for word because the editors have changed the wordings to make it fit what they believe. And by this, it doesn't show really the true word of God, for man has revised it. I was told by Holy Spirit to share this message so people will know the truth and will be set free from the traditions of the world that is very wicked. To sum it up, Father God wants us to not eat nor kill animals and insects because first so that we will be physically healthy 
so we can fully serve and do His will daily with the help of Holy Spirit. Second, to not sin anymore. For us who have listened to this video, we are called and chosen to hear the truth and to destroy our worldly self-desires and cravings. These are what God desires us to do so we can fully obey His will daily in our life. If you have any questions regarding this video, please pray to Jesus Christ to reveal to you the truth. For I am only the messenger delivering this message that has been hidden from society. And Father God told me to reveal the truth of this message so we can all be set free from this sin. This is the end of this message. May Father God give you the peace of Jesus Christ in your heart. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen.